Story Sundays. It's five minutes to show that I've been host by Shaka's story. He's just told a great story to it. You know what? I'm not going to get through this. Just read it on your own. Story of the Landmark Fifth episode. Hoofda. Oh my God. What am I going to do? It's episode five. I've got stains on my shirt. I've got wickedly awful hair. And I used my best story for the fourth episode. <sighs> I'm so screwed. Oh, grow a pair, good Charlotte. What? Did you not ever take a science class? I'm your reflection. Hello? But if you're my reflection, how are you wearing a different outfit than me? That's scientifically impossible. Never mind the outfits. Besides, if people notice, you can always explain it by breaking the fourth wall. What if they don't laugh? What if they don't find it funny? I only have one broken arm story. These people don't need your pain or your humiliation. All they expect from you is to be entertained. You've done this four times. And really, you're a sissy pants if you can't do it a fifth. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm you. Would it be awkward if I kissed you for thanks? I thought you'd never ask. Is Tommy here? No. He's at opera rehearsal. Thanks, man. You're the best. Now get the hell out there and knock him dead, good Charlotte. Well, here goes nothing. From St. Paul, Minnesota, it's time for Story Sundays with Matt Shaw. Today's story is... And now, here's your host, Matt Shaw! Hello everyone, and welcome to The Big Five. Honestly, I cannot believe that it's been, what, ten weeks? And uh, we're five episodes in, and this is just, it's insane. In honor of the fifth episode, I would love to take some time to read a list of names of people who have helped me get here and that I am thankful for. <laughs> Good times. Oh, yeah, him too. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a story today that actually doesn't have anything to do with me humiliating myself or embarrassing myself or anything of that nature. It's just a simple story and a personal achievement of mine. Now, I don't know how many of you know this about me, but there's a band that I've taken a liking to over the years. They're called Maroon 5. You might have heard of them. They're kind of a big deal. I mean, it's not like I'm obsessed or anything. So this story takes place in the fall of 2010. Maroon 5 had just released their third album, Hands All Over, and they had a contest that every diehard fan knew about called the Seven Days of Hands All Over Contest. And if you posted pictures to Facebook, Twitter, or Foursquare of your favorite part of the album or yourself buying the album or something like that, that you could win cool prizes. Of course I thought, well, of course I'm going to enter, but there is no way in the world I'm going to win. So whatever. I thought and I thought and I thought and I thought, what is my favorite part of the album? And it certainly wasn't my favorite album of theirs, but I kept thinking about this beautiful picture of Switzerland, where they recorded the album. So I took a picture of this, and I was kind of looking over, and I had the CD in my other hand. I captioned it with something like, the beautiful picture of the Alps, and the CD isn't too bad either. Friday, September 25th. 2010, my mom and stepdad had come over, I think to pick me up and take me home or something. We were sitting in my room in the Flynn basement, and all of a sudden my dad called. Even though most people who know me know I'm a giant prude and I don't do anything, I thought, oh no, I'm in trouble. 
So I answered the phone, and after we exchanged pleasantries, my dad said, you need to check Facebook. And then I had the thought every kid would have when their father says, you need to check Facebook. And I just thought, "Uh uh-oh, I'm in trouble. And in my news feed, Maroon 5 had posted my picture and had some caption that said, like, congratulations, Matt Shock, you have won an autographed guitar. So that was probably the nearest I ever came to having a heart attack because I just kind of sat back in my desk chair stunned and was like, holy shit, <coughs> this is real. It was crazy. They Facebooked it. They tweeted about it. My name is on their Twitter. And a couple weeks later, sure enough, the guitar came. She's still alive and well, just sitting in my room in... Uh, Edina. And I think that about wraps it up for this one. Sorry if it wasn't more uh, humiliating than it normally is, but next week I have a great humiliating story with liquor, knives, and tongs. You don't want to miss it. See you in a couple weeks. Shut her down.